Well, 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 what do we have here? Another episode of the Outcast Podcast. We're so glad you've joined us. This is where a black man, a white man, and a brown man walk in, and they do a podcast, and here's what you get, ladies and gentlemen. What's going on, Memphis? I want to mention you first. What's How are the you? business? What's happening? How you doing? You I'm really good. How your mama doing? How your cousin them doing? What your auntie up to? Your cousin still feeling from oh, checking damn. me out? You know what I'm saying? I love you. What's up, uh, Ramo? How are you? Uh, my vape pen died. Oh, oh damn it. tragedy. It's going to be a fuck. You want to try mine? Stop the tape. It's going to be a long show for Ramo. <laughs> Wrong. Somebody to press some shit over here. <laughs> and what's going on with you there, Tom <laughs> Cat? How are you there, my brother? I'm doing good. I'm doing good, Gentry. Thanks for asking. Great to be here. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. Likewise, man. Thank Don't you for point being here. Don't point at me. Before we go any Dead. further, I would like to announce that today is National Pearl Harbor Remembrance Day. Oh, it is. is. What's that? Yes, it is. Each it, year, what's today? On December the seventh. Oh yeah, that's right. All the Pearl Harbor survivors, veterans, visitors from all over the world, they come together to honor and remember the two thousand four hundred and three service members and civilians that were killed Sad. during the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor on this day, December the seventh, nineteen forty one. And I guess there was another like almost twelve hundred people that were injured. Um, so it was a sad day in our country. Oh, big time. They nice. always equate that to a 9-11. day that will live in infamy. For right? sure. They say that about 9-11, too. I was going to say they always equate 9-11 as our <coughs> Just Pearl as bad. Harbor sure. of sure. this generation. 2,400 people. How many uh, people died in 9-11? Do you know? No. 2,500. Yeah, but I don't think our government set up Pearl Harbor. Take. Oh, That's a joke. Man, you're going to get us uh, mm. kicked off of all platforms. <laughs> that was a joke. I guess I'm not going to be <laughs> going viral today. I guess I won't be going theory. viral today. Uh-huh. Thanks a lot, Raymond. I appreciate it. <laughs> That's you. funny. I have the stats yeah. here. <laughs> Boom. On the, ni- on the day of 9 11, uh, 2,996 people died on September 11th. That's what I'm saying. As opposed to 2,403. I mean, either way, you lose one live, you lose 2,500. Thank you. All Americans. Yep. Thank you. We've got a big show planned for today. Um, We do want to honor those uh, that have fought for our country and given us our freedoms. And so happy uh, Pearl Harbor Survivors Day. But moving on um, to other topics that we're going to talk about. I'm sure everybody knows this by now that we're all DJs. We all do DJ gigs, uh, play music. And that's what's brought us together as outcasts here for this show. True. And I was going into this weekend's gigs and I had a first. And you know how long. We've been doing this for mm-hmm. a long time. So it's it's a little crazy when you come across the first, but it One is. One of the bridesmaids stuck her finger up your butt? <laughs> I'm saying, that's the first ad that, 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 that's, yeah. that's actually already happened. Oh, you, I'm jealous. He's like Quagmire. <laughs> <laughs> Quagmire. Like, we should play a drinking game. With her husband standing right there <laughs> filming it, you know, egging her on to stick her finger up my butt. That's gross. Did he smell it afterwards? I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. How dirty Sanchez. <laughs> <laughs> how did it feel when she stuck your, her finger up your butt? Well, pretty good. She been gentrified. She, she, she tickled the dick right. <laughs> Did you sniff it? I, I don't like to sniff you that didn't kind sniff of stuff. It. He sniffed no. her crotch. Okay. I don't look at mm. the toilet paper after I wipe. Okay. Ew, why so. would you? Do you? No, I, I don't. You got to make sure it's no. over. I, mean, I, I wipe three or four times, and then I flush. You what if you get up and I you like... I will never uh, sit in a chair behind what if you again. You just take it for <laughs> granted that uh, there's nothing on there, and you wipe three or four times. Hey, you, you get go. like a pee or, around, you got or your, some your, corn stuck up your, in there that got some... And you got those, those and your booty itching and carrying on. That's why you got to use wet ones. Too far. Too yeah, that's why you got to use wet ones. And if you don't have the wet ones, you can wet a little bit of the toilet paper. You can do that, too, but the wet ones, I mean, they got aloe vera on and shit like that, too. You got to watch Watch out for your septic system, by the way. With you, those you don't, you you don't flush those. those. You got throw those in the trash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You keep let's a little trash can in your let's uh, bathroom. Let's move on. Is that so, what you're going to say? So, <laughs> so for this weekend, I have two uh, DJ gigs this weekend. All right. Nice. And one was a Christmas party. Now, that's what I had down in my books. It was a Christmas party. So I called Ooh. the client. I'm like, all right. So I'm assuming, unless you give me some direction, hose, probably hose, hose. play some of the holiday music at the beginning. You know, you guys will eat a little dinner. Maybe you'll give away some awards. And then she's like, no, 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 no. We've actually changed it. Uh-oh. It's not going to be a Christmas party. I'm like, oh, okay, so a holiday party. She's like, no, 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 no. We got people that, like Memphis, I guess, that just don't celebrate. Jehovah's right. Witnesses? Not a damn Jehovah's Witness. I don't know uh, what their denomination is, but they claim, this woman says we cannot call it a holiday party, and we cannot call it a Christmas party. We're just going to call it an end-of-the-year party. Okay. I was, I was right. like, right. oh, okay. okay. I'm like, so do you want me to play any holiday music? 
She said, no. So this party went no, that from... that part I like. <laughs> well, we, we went from a party that was supposed to be a Christmas party when I booked it. It's a holiday Christmas party to uh, don't call it a holiday party. Don't call it a Christmas party. And don't play any Christmas music. And she said the reason why is because she didn't want to offend anyone. Sure. That there's all okay. walks of life all at right. this party. Okay. So we're just I calling res- it an end of the year party. I respect that. But can I say my thing is she if she's paying for the party, it's whatever. Yeah, I mean, I'm fine you to know? do whatever. I just find it odd that you you just can't have a Christmas party anymore. You can. Or a holiday party. It seems well, like you can and, and be politically that's correct. That's, that's, that's the first time I've heard of something like that. I think like you that. can. I think you can. Well, maybe that's a the circle yeah, she runs with, sure, like a specific right. circle where be. she knows it won't it be cool. Be. Exactly. Like yeah. a, you or, know, you know, maybe there's some specific people really that probably sit a little bit higher than her in the company or whatever that may take. Take offense, offense to, to it. Or something. Mm-hmm. You trying to shove that shit down my throat? I yeah. I just feel like around the holidays when you have a company party, what's what's wrong with playing a little Mar- Mariah Carey? You know, all I oh, want. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm just, don't I'm just, do I'm it. Just I'm just what, I've heard I'm it just twelve kidding. times <laughs> already. What's wrong with playing a little? I well, like Christmas music. Bobby <laughs> Helms like rocking like around it. the Christmas I, tree. I like it. No I way. Mean, you don't have to play it all night, but if it's gonna. I like it. It just seems it sets too. the mood. Sets it does. Tone. It's Christmas. One time in the year. Or you can play and Gucci cool. Mane's Christmas. You don't got to play a bunch of sappy crap. 12 days of Christmas. No, you can't. Just no, make gotta, some not at that party. Gucci Mane made a doggone not Christmas song. He made what about two party. Run DMC's Christmas of Hollis? Is <laughs> yeah, you song. can do that. Uh, who else? It's very Snoop popular. Snoop Dogg made a uh, Christmas song. He made I, quite yeah, a few sure, of them. Yeah, sure, but... Uh, the dog pound. No. Yes. There's they, a whole. All there's a whole Christmas album. What the hell's wrong with you? How Death do you Row, get Christmas on Death Row. I just don't understand how yeah, rocking around the right. Christmas yeah. tree could offend anyone at a holiday party. But I digress with that gig. Then we move on to my Sunday gig. This is a mm. little more church so gig. I, so I call. Uh, this is going to be a, a lesbian wedding, which is fine. Sweet. So, nice. Why are you calling call 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 homies like, hey, man, you I need, need a roadie? Help. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck, man? It's, it's, a, it's a woman marrying a woman as, uh, you know, it's really easy to figure that That's out. That's beautiful. Lesbian wedding. Yeah, That's beautiful. It's beautiful. Men always uh, think that they can still get in there somehow, though. No, they can't. They're lesbians, huh? Oh, I got an in. Yeah. I can get in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a, I just walk in. I don't need to get one of them. We don't want you. All right, go ahead. Sorry. I need to get one. I'll get the other. So I'm on the phone with um with the uh, I guess you, they're not brides they're not grooms I, I I'm on the phone with the soon to be newlyweds there you go and Great. so we're having a conversation we're talking about they actually want Christmas music played at their and it's it's around the holidays they sure. said they they requested it please Why play not? Christmas music. Why not Okay fine I'm now I'm gonna do a, a wedding where I'm gonna play Christmas music I'm gonna go to a Christmas party where I'm not gonna play Christmas music <laughs> so I'm, That's I'm, I'm funny. just Starting to become an odd conversation, and then they Don't say, "Don't forget which one you're at." At the very end, yeah. I, s- I say to them, "Is there anything else you want me to know?" And she says, "Or I, I'm sorry, I can't say she." Are these the gay people? Yeah. yeah. Why well, they, not? I they say to say me, she. "Hold on now, listen." Why not? They say to me that they are non-binary. They're like, "We just want you to know that whenever you make announcements throughout the night, we're non-binary, and so when you refer to us, we are not he, we're not she." You refer to us as they and them, and um, and so I was like, oh, nah, no problem. Like, like as if like that's like a normal thing for me. Like I've heard that before. This is actually the first time I ever got direction at a gig where I can't say he or she. So then I get off the phone and I start thinking, can you not say he or she about anyone at the party? Is everyone they or them? I don't want to break any rules this weekend. I don't get it though. You like, might want to clarify you, that. You know, I, I'm I'm confused. And well, how do you do? How do you? How do you refer to them in singular form? That's why I'm wondering. Because I even said to someone, I was like, what if you say, oh, they look beautiful, and then someone says, oh, yes, she does. That would be wrong. You can't say she. You can't say he. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. You can't say them in a singular form. I'm confused, man. Like, that shit is confusing. It's that's so confusing. I, that's what I was thinking. I, 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 I think personally that think the look, pitfalls of that are I, are many. I'm all, <laughs> yeah, I'm, 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 all I'm, for, I'm so confused. I'm man. all for people doing whatever it is they feel they need to do to make themselves happy in life, because that's when we're the most productive human beings, and I would hope that for everybody. But that shit right there is that's ridiculous. Extra. You're that's still extra. a fucking girl. I, why can't I refer to you as she? She and she love each other, and so fucking what? That's awesome. 
I uh, I do think I, I do think I'm, saying, that, like, I'm confused. Instance, like I don't, man, I I don't get be it. Like, I'm com- I'm so confused. I just I want to be I like understanding far. about it, but I think it's a little too far to tell someone like uh how to well, it's their it's their wedding. The way I look at it, I understand their wedding. But I think they need to understand that we've already been indoctrinated as a society to understand people have different genders, regardless of how we believe or perceive well, their lifestyle. Even, like it's they're not still even, who like, they I, are, regardless of what you believe or what you think to be the truth about that issue. I just think it's just hard to change your speech in the moment. That's like, what I mean. Let me go into this situation. Like right, I gotta do. I gotta do a wedding, be, and now yeah. I can never say the word she. But I mean, or he, you, like, like I can't. It, it, the, you know, the, I can't do the it. The most annoying part. Or, the most annoying a part of, of a wedding is the announcements. That's the most annoying yeah. part of the wedding. And you gotta Everything get the else, names right. Too. You gotta get them right, and then and, and how they want to be introduced, and all this other jazz. And you, it's just second nature if you introduce them like Mister and Mrs. or Mrs. and Mrs. or I don't know. You know, and you might You're say You're going to mess she, up. And, and then they're going to hold it over your head. They're going to be like, ah! <laughs> Oh, dude. They, they will. <laughs> you said he, she, he, they, he, 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 don't no, mean any I don't think that's going to work. <laughs> well, my other concern is what about the music that you play? Like, I guess that throws Isn't She Lovely no, right I'm out of the playbook. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that doesn't work anymore. Are you I, really playing it at a wedding? I'm I sure mean, they want to hear a lot of isn't house Isn't she music lovely? Anyway. What? I mean, I'm that's sure that a lot of songs. Is, is that doing. Those you, words I, I was just got to be doing dinner time, right? Yeah, I'm talking saying that Isn't She Lovely is a well, great the, song to listen, play. Listen, you know what? No, let me say this. If but she, she, there's no she's here. So what's the number one lesbian if, no, song? I don't. Know. Is there I'm a number one lesbian? I'm coming out. I want the world to know. Is that a thing? Let you Who's show. that? Pink? No, no that's, that's that Donald Ross. Ross. Yeah, that's oh, okay. Song. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, that's and that's definitely it. <laughs> They also. Uh, <laughs> I like Pink. Though. Pink's on my top five. She's in my top I five. I think she so was like a her. closet. <laughs> I've pink? noticed that the LG. No, oh, Donna Ross. Oh, Donna Ross. Yeah, probably. Yeah, Donna Ross. I'm about to say, man, don't you tell <laughs> me Pink like that, man. It's going gonna, it's gonna to almost ruin my day. I don't know. We can, we can move on to a new topic, but <laughs> I just yeah. I figured yeah. as this all being DJs, uh, you, know, you, you think you've seen it all. Nope. Yeah, it's and always uh, something new. Weddings always something very, new. And that's now why you charge accordingly to do weddings, DJs. D- real DJs, not you button pushers. Real DJs that go out there and handle your business. Charge accordingly if offered to do a wedding. Speaking of business, we've got some to conduct with Memphis. Uh, I know that you started your BetterHelp. Oh, yeah. Uh, d- uh, dot com. How'd that go? Your therapy. Uh, as they are a big sponsor yes. of the Outcast podcast. Salute. Of course. We love them. Betterhelp.com slash outcast. If you go to that link, you can save 10% on your first month's therapy. Do it. And uh, Memphis, you tell me what you like. What I uh, like about the concept is you don't have to worry about going into some psychiatrist's office. You don't have to wait a long time. You do it over the Internet. And I feel like you did it last week right here from the studio. I did last week. uh, It is cool because you can do it via the phone. You can do a FaceTime or chat or whatever you can just text do you have a male or female I therapist have a, i have a, a female therapist and is that by your request or did you just take whatever they I just, give you i just did whatever i didn't care you know what i mean and they gave me who i have okay and, and uh, she's uh she's, she's, she's mad sweetheart. cool she's mad cool she uh i was i was telling y'all earlier that um after the session you is i i, I didn't know how to feel she was like wow <laughs> and I was like, wow, like, what do you mean? Like, in a bad way, she's like, no, you have a very somewhat interesting life. And she got me to open up about things that I never talked to anybody about, like, ever, 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 because it's some dark shit. And she's it, good at her job, huh? Oh, she's awesome. And yeah. we only talk once, and, I, and we, we talk again tomorrow, uh, because I didn't know what I wanted to talk about, you know. And what did y'all talk she, about? We, we talked about a few things, you know. Um, I was, she come at a time where I was kind of annoyed. And I told her, I said, I was a little annoyed at the moment. She's like, well, why are you annoyed? And I'm like, well. I think then, Tomcat was hanging probably around. Probably me. No, it wasn't you. I no, think it, it was. Was, <laughs> you. Was, it was there a hood? Hey, no, hey, no, no. Come on. It was, I was just annoyed. With, I was just annoyed <laughs> with a few uh, things that, I, like, when I really get a chance to, like, actually have a, a moment to myself and my thoughts to think about and put shit together, 
then I started thinking about stuff that I, I didn't address at the moment. I was like, I handled it, but it's like on a pause because I got to come back to it. And then with certain things that I, situations I got going on right now with some folks that I'm not happy with. And it's like, I don't want to be an asshole, but I'm, I gotta be an asshole. And it sucks because these people that know you and they know how you are. And then they, and, and then you get out of character. And so I'm more, uh, was up, <clears throat> upset with myself. Sure. And so uh, she was just telling me like, you know, not to be so hard on myself. And also too, she gave me some advice that my mom gave me when I was a kid. And actually my great grandma, she's, she, 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 uh, she told me, she's like, everybody not as driven as you are. She's like, everybody does not want things bad like you do. And that's not their fault. It's not your fault. You know, and I'm like, well, it's just fucking frustrating. It's frustrating because you have high, like, I have very high expectations for myself because, like I said, my circumstances, you know, like, you know, how people may see me now or, like, the things I've achieved, like, don't realize I come from, like, one of the worst places in this fucking country. And to make it out is beyond a blessing. And then on top of that, you know, I didn't have, like, my pops or anybody else. So I had to look up to, like, my uncles and cousins, mainly my cousins. And they helped raise me in a way. And then being out here on the street and learning things on my own. And and, and it was just a, a lot. And, you know, fucking crazy shit. But anyways. I totally I hear understand. You. I, I hear you, man. I feel you 100%. It's, 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 and so, you know, how I carry myself and, like, how I was raised and the things I've learned. Like, I've had other male mentors in my life that have helped me at the time when I needed them the most. And it was always somebody there to like help me get over this hump or give me encouraging words and, you know, to, to help guide me. So I didn't sway because it was easy for me to sway to go do something different. And I would have been a statistic. Like I tell people all the time, like don't get twisted in like all these rap lyrics and shit you see on videos and all this stuff. Like those of us who've really come from that era and that lifestyle are all fighting to get it out. And, mm. we're all, and St. Louis is a big-ass crowd, bro. And not everybody make it out. Not oh, everybody man. make it out. And see, and I also have, like, that survivor's remorse. Right. I see that. Because, like, I lost a brother. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I lost a brother a few years ago who got caught up in the life. You know what I'm saying? And then, like, my uncles and everybody else. You know how many homies I had to bury? It's, a, like, it's, it's a lot of stuff about me that I, I don't I talk about. Sure. You know, and 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 so she this little stuff I was talking to about, she was like, fuck. She's like, dude, how do you do it? And then I said, because I told myself at a very early age, nobody's ever gonna put me in the woulda, coulda, shoulda category. I would never let it happen. I don't care. I, I I've 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 sacrificed relationships with people because I felt as if you know how I am, I know how you are, you've been around me for a while. And you you put me in a position where I have to make a tough decision that I don't want to make. You know, it, I mean, it, it's it's cost me a lot. But it's like when you have a uh, principle, you got to stand on your principle no matter what. That's your foundation. Because you, you, if you if you break that, then what you don't you're not no good to anybody. But it's also I look at it as a blessing. It's like some of these people don't need to be in my life anymore. You know, and and then this like st- shit I got going on in my current life, you know, and talked a little How bit long about did that. Did y'all talk? About a good hour. Oh, wow. nice. okay. Well, I about appreciate all the insight, yeah. uh, but you know, we don't want to sit here and do your therapy hour. Oh no, 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 we love you, man. We love you, Memphis. We love you, Memphis. I was trying to say you was talking too long. I will say this, and I'm sure I speak for all of us is. At least now we understand why you try and bully us off the air. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> it's cool. It's because I love we, you, man. We play play you, my man. theme music, man. Because I love you, man. You got big brother syndrome. Oh, yeah, somebody play, play my theme music, man. <laughs> yeah, I go. There we go. So the news is out. Prime time. Ah! It's headed Boy, for the I'm prime ready. time. One of the big major five schools yeah. one of the big yeah. uh, big conference is going to Colorado mm-hmm. to be the head coach of the Colorado Buffaloes and it sounds to me like he's leaving for it must be the money you know he had a song back in the day called that must I love be the that money song. Do we have that song? Must do be we have the that? money. Do we have that? I think we do. Research. I hope not. I probably Research. Do we have that song. <laughs> Ready, set. I, I was going to try to save you guys. Jay Money, Jay Money back in the studio. Do you have that? Can you get that for us? That, that Deion Sanders must he be the best. Your march gets set so, terrible. Anyways, 
Dion Primetime Sanders. Yeah, that's my guy, man. You know, hey, I, I got mad love for Dion. I met him a couple times, uh, played in a celebrity softball game, Javon Curse, back in the day. That's right, uh, he's from right here, too. Huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. And, man, awesome guys. You know what I'm saying? I always I only wish the best for him, and I, I'm proud of him, dude. You know? Yeah. And I know there's a little controversy about this, this, and that, and Jackson State. And, uh, look, anytime you get an opportunity to better yourself and your family, do it. Absolutely. Because I, I promise you that if that company, that situation felt better with a different person in your particular position, they wouldn't have a problem throwing you to the fucking curve and putting that Facts. other person there, dude. And not you know, fucking... Not even think about it twice. There has so, been some people dude. that have been upset with Dion because they're idiots. He's, he's said he wasn't all about the money, but now he's chasing the money. Yeah, he's chasing his well, he, family's it's a future. Better oppo- it's a better opportunity, yeah. not saying, and not saying this. This what here's the problem, right? So, PV, you got folks that are mad because he was at HBCU, and I now he's going that. to you a predominantly HBCU is historically black, black college, college and sure. universities. Yep. I understand that. So he's going to a PWI, which is a predominantly white institution, in the University of Colorado. And look at what he did when he was at Jackson State. He he he's helped he donated like hundred fifty thousand dollars of his sal- salary to help with the upgrades of the uh the uh facilities and everything. He's leveraged his relationships with American Airlines, so when they travel, they all, tra- you know, they ain't got to worry about travel. Michael Strahan donated freaking suits so they can all, like, look the same on game day. Nice. He's That's done nice. all that. That's Nobody tight. did that before Prime got to uh, Jackson State. So he, you're saying he already did He did a lot for them. He did a lot, and and, the, and they were, they just went undefeated. Regular, yeah. they, and then they got a bowl game, and then they yeah. had a uh, good season so last he, year. He kind of did what he said he was. He did what do. he was supposed to do. He did what he, he said got he was the number do. one recruit the year after last year before your uh, year before ago, Travis Hunter. And that was going to go to Florida State, and Dion talked him into coming to Jackson State, the number one recruit in the nation. Yeah. And people flipped was tripping like, how would he do it? Don't worry about how he did it. He did it. I would I you would know? think that just because he's t- taking a job here, that doesn't mean he can't help them still. No, see, people are so damn narrow minded. That they don't realize, so he's leaving some of his staff behind, you know, because right. not everybody's going to go to Colorado. Well, and but not he's all, also bringing another opportunity for his people. Exactly, he's and he's also bringing along other black coaches that can go off and he's get other jobs. So it's like six, what and, is it, six he, million gentry? And, and he's, he's listen, going from making three hundred thousand dollars a year is what he was making at Jackson State. That's not bad. Now he's going to be making five point five million dollars a year. That's quite the difference. So, so, although he don't need the money, I he don't, don't need think the money. Man, he needs the money. People that have a lot of money, people are sure. always like, oh, they no, got no. a lot of money. I, I, don't, I don't mean like people that, that have a lot of money have a lot of bills no, no, and, no, sure. and the lifestyle that prime time likes to live. I'm saying I don't think. More money. I don't think the decision was based solely because of the money. I think so. Like, <laughs> I don't think so. Five point five million. I think he had. Yeah, sure. He Did had his eyes on. I think he has his eyes on an even bigger prize. I think that he would like to coach, coach one of the teams in the SEC. I think he's going to be better suited for college athletes. I don't know if his I'm prime uh, will work Mr. with cool. guys that are making just as much money, if not more money, than him. No, uh, it, it, it'll I think work, it'll work because better with no, college no, players. No, he he said he don't want to coach uh, NFL anyway. You know, he don't want to do that. He's been there, done that. But for his college, you know, he's been a very successful college coach, and then they go from Jackson State to a Pac-12 school, and this school. Now, let, think about this. Think about this college Ramo. game day. <laughs> college game day. I'm thinking about was it. Was it came right to now. Jackson State? College Think game. Wherever weed. college game <laughs> day too. goes is a big deal. College game day ain't never been to any FB, HBCUs, and they've been to Jackson State this year. They sure the hell did. And not only that, HBCUs are getting more and more play on on prime, like on ESPN and stuff like that. They weren't really doing that before prime. So people got to realize, like, oh, yeah, people just need to get out there feeling shut the F up forever. You know, let him do what he's doing. This man is – everything he's doing is doing for a reason. You don't have to understand it. You ain't got to like it. But just sit back and just shut up and let this man 
do what Somebody's he did. Somebody's always well, going to say thing. something, and they're going to, you know. Well, it was it, only one person, though. It was only one uh, NF, uh, really. ex-ESPN analyst it's, that I saw. It's obvious the it. dude is super driven. I'm sure what other people said it. What makes you think but. that he isn't going to take this opportunity and move forward to a bigger school? Shit, and I then would. eventually take over and be part of the you know, the committee for the NCAA or whatever, some shit like that, and really change shit. Bunch of small-minded thinking people. And, That's and all it is. They have small-minded like, thinking people. He's a good dude. Like, I'm telling you, he probably has huge plans in mind. And I, I wouldn't think that this is going to be his last stop. And now you got the transfer portal, which opened up on Monday. For those of you who don't know what the transfer portal is, is what kids for many transfer school. Transfer portal? Yeah. yeah. So say if you go to the University of Florida, right? Mm-hmm. Notre and, Dame's quarterback's leaving. Or, yeah. But TK, you 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 would have saw say you were a, a junior at University of Florida, and you're like, I ain't really getting the playing time I I, I was said I was gonna get you or or to somebody or, or you just whatever reason you like, well I'm I'm putting my name in the transfer portal. Now you gotta hope you land at another school where you, that's exactly because how a lot of these feels. kids a lot of these kids will go in like Justin Fields got in the yeah. transfer portal. But a lot of these kids State. now will think. Oh, I'm gonna hop Georgia. in the transfer no portal just because it is. looks good for social Bears media. But they uh, won't come Bears. out. Bears. They're Bears. not gonna come out the so, uh, transfer portal because not all schools are gonna pick them up. And Dion is about to clean up in the transfer portal. He already told his the, his kids at Colorado when he met with them first day. He's like, "Look, I'm coming, and a lot of y'all, and I'm bringing some players with me. A lot of y'all ain't gonna be here, so y'all might as well hop in the transfer portal." Told him that. Hmm. Told him that first day. Because uh, Colorado won one game this year. They went 1-11. and 11. That's not very nice, I don't think. They they need a whole you overall hop change. He's going to go out there and win. De- yeah, De- going to go out there and win. He hey, man, you know what? Watch. I'll tell you what. I'll tell I, you would, what. I would prefer a coach in that situation to come to me and say, hey, look, your chances don't look too well. You might as well take action now. Instead of just let me sit on it thinking I'm fucking mm-hmm. somebody. Until it's too late to do dick. Yep. No, he told guess, him flat out. I guess it's just funny the way uh, he said it. Yeah. Well, oh, yeah, you yeah, know, no, it's just, <laughs> but it's just hop, it it's just hop, hop your ass in that trench. I mean, you because but then you, train you, train you. This yeah, is but you, listen, you know what? This is where this is where like <laughs> cancel culture you like Joe and people is like soft and all this shit because it's mostly the parents like are upset with this. And I'm like, why do you think these kids are like that today? Because they come come from soft, weak ass parents. Everybody's it offended. would be disappointing. If, no, it wouldn't. I mean, no, I, I no, feel. Here's who I feel today, for. Today, do you guys take offense to that? I, <laughs> Just a little. No, no, no. You're a freaking jackass. I, I completely. Yeah. Let me let me speak oh, yeah. on this. Who's seeing the goddamn psychiatrist? No, I, I can joking. see. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm joking. I'm joking. Bro. I can. I'm, see, I'm can, I can, say, I can I understand you. that. Dion, I completely understand. Thanks, Capitalist, I'm, I love when people can make money and he can go to greener pastures and make bigger things happen at a bigger school. Sure. But I can't also see the kid who came in and came in because of Dion, and he's at Jackson State, and he's not going to be in the transfer por- portal. He's going to be at Jackson State next year, and now it's disappointing. We lost, you know, 60 minutes is probably not coming to the campus next year. Good Morning America is probably not coming to the campus next year. You know, Dion's not going to be around here. We're probably not going to have bigger, big enough, bigger crowds than we do this year. Well, keep, so I do feel left, for those kids, but I, under, he, I understand he left, he why left he left. Blue, he left the blueprint on how to do it. All they got to do is hire the right coach. You hire the right coach, winning, winning fixes everything. And Jackson State was not winning before Prime that got there. That is true. If they and, start if winning, they, they and they keep buckle winning, down and, and show and everything you know, that he's done, whooping ass. everything he's done already, he, he still left a lot of the shit there. They just mad because he left. Like, I think the most important like, thing like that he salty. left is the culture, the winning culture. And if they can hold on to that somehow, then they'll be fine. There are a lot of good black coaches out here that are not well, like yeah. Deion Sanders, but they are really better coaches. You True. hire the right guy. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have to pay them. You, ain't, you know what I mean? What you can afford to pay them because they know HBCUs ain't got that much money. But you go out there not and you yet. pay them. Not, not yet. yet. You, what if they get not like yet. a boot, not yet? What if they get like a bootleg white dude that's real good? Nah, nah. For nah, like nah. real cheap on the low. And he like better be John, like, <laughs> like John Candy, <laughs> Cool Runnings. <laughs> he better, you, know, you know who's gonna be looking for a job? <laughs> like a comeback yeah, 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 yeah. He better be a <laughs> damn good coach. You better go. With no, that's right. funny because the movie that I was telling you guys about, uh, Wildcats, that yeah, uh, Jay was in. Goldie Hawn is a high school football coach. 
of a mostly black high school that really sucked at football. And then, of course, by the end of the movie, they, they won the championship. Well, you know why, right? Because they won the smash, and they all probably took a turn. Well, <sighs> You, yeah, yeah. He always freaking takes penis, dip. dude. Good lord! Hey, man, you. My sat, wife thinks I'm bad. You set it up, you man. Me fr- I get. Hey, you set it up, bro. I mean, hey, you set him uh, up. I'm gonna there, knock him down. down. There is a penis. big name. <laughs> <laughs> Put that thing away. There is a big name in Mississippi that is a big football name, and this guy could use a job. He he could use a, a helping hand, and that would be who? Brett Favre. Fuck Brett, Brett Favre. Favre. Fuck it, him. Anytime I can uh, bash a Packer quarterback, I will. As a Bears like fan. Yeah. Hey, we ass. made him retire. Fuck him. I know. And, and y'all punk ass out here mad at Dion. You need to be mad at fucking Brad Farr for the, the foul shit he did. You're a Packer Y'all directing Gentry. your energy to the wrong fucking place. Be mad at fucking Brad Farr. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck, I, man? Leave Dion alone. This, mo- this motherfucker out here helping people and shit. And, he, and Brett Favre stealing money from fucking Mississippians, and y'all mad at Dion? What the fuck? I is have wrong the with article you? here. Oh, I'm sure they're mad at both. <laughs> this is from <laughs> WAFB. In Mississippi, it says that uh, Mississippi revises their demands on Brett Favre in the welfare lawsuit. Okay. It was that they wanted $1.1 million, and I guess Brett did some speaking arrangements and uh, engagements. and he. Oh, he didn't do them. He was so supposed it's to like, do them. It was kind of like buying food stamps. You only pay half price. Uh, no, they don't know about that, Ramo. They don't know about that reference. Those are, no, the real ones know. Real ones know. We know. Real poor. Yeah, real ones what know. What a dick. Asshole. Well, I not- was right. I had food stamps when I was a kid. And I'm just <laughs> <laughs> so he I knows, can say that. He's speaking from experience, I used dude. them. Yeah, shit, yeah. Them. shit, my mama had food stamps, too. Poor. She used to sell them shits. Hell you guys yeah. remember the cheese and butter that you should get from the government? Nah, fuck that government cheese. That Ugh. shit's good. You crazy as fuck. You couldn't even melt That's it. What are you talking shit. about? You're crazy as hell. You you can, bad, what kind of government cheese? Wait a minute. You, hold, you wait, wrong. wait. What kind of government cheese did you have well, that state, melted? Because uh, g- Gary, everybody. Indiana state. I, Gary, Indiana. They did used to have the little shot. booklets. The Indiana that, state. That, I remember oh, when the food stamps in were actually it stamps. It's all over the place. There were stamps. And you went to the food stamp store, and the stuff was at the store. And you nah. had the little stamp. We used to go to the check hazard place. Yeah, That's what, we, my mom used to go to check hazard place to get hers. I believe they used to have it right at the welfare office yeah. in Gary, where you would go and you would collect your food stamps, and then they would have another area where you can get in line, and they would give you, like, butter and cheese. And then you would go to Wick and get, you know, milk, milk and, and stuff like shit. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah bro. Well, now, I don't now know they no want the nobody who got government... I want to know what kind of government cheese melts, because everybody I Dude, know. I'm telling you, that shit. And I know a lot of people who, fucking, who had government melted, cheese. Dog. I don't know. Like, what this got to be make sure. St. Louis, what's that? Missouri. That's why. Missouri, motherfucker. Why. Ain't no Missouri. Missouri. That's why. Indiana, Indiana, fuck with the Missouri. Where the hell? You talking about the cheese? Show me You talking about the cheese they gave you? Yes. And he's saying it wouldn't melt. No His government one, cheese does not melt. No, not it the, does not. not. Not from your government. Shit. From my government. I got. Yeah. I got. Gentry, it. have you ever eaten any government cheese? I've never even seen from those Indiana, government have cheese. You ever had I've, uh, I smoked the government cheese. What cheese is that? Hey, that's we'll find out soon as we get off the air. Get off the air, baby. Not Save it for off there. <laughs> well, now uh, Brett Favre, uh, his lawsuit was one point one million. Now he has to give back five million dollars. That's what his ass gets. Good man, he Rat got bastard. It. That motherfucker got it. He'll be all right. Fuck him. I don't know. It looks like he by the guess uh, what he get by his red nose. It looks like he's either getting ready to play Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer and upcoming sniffing holiday cocaine. play. Or he's, he's about to listen to some. Hell uh, no, he's been sniffing George, cocaine. Uh, he's Who been, is it? He's been he's, drinking he's, a little he's too still, much. He's still got that cocaine. Wrangler G money. If you wanna get down, get <laughs> down cocaine. <laughs> Uh, let's That's uh, uh, Eric Clapton, right? I'm trying yeah. to Eric yeah. Clapton. Yeah, Eric Clapton. Yeah, there you go. George look Carlin. Why was I thinking of George Carlin? They comedian. look alike because they look alike. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. They kind of do. Yeah, they do. They, they both got the ponytail. Great. Yeah, what's up, man? All right, well, Ticketmaster, no. uh, we're coming to the end of 2022, and really, this is the first year where touring was a big thing for all these big time artists. So I have the list of the top five grossing tours and that of this year of 2022 we need to get on that list who, guys who do you guys so think uh memphis i'll ask you first what uh-huh. artists do you think are on this list these are the artists that made the most money out touring in 2022 uh, i'm gonna go kendrick lamar not on the list i'm gonna go not. Uh, not your favorite artist 
Top five. <laughs> who, are the, who are in the top five? But Taylor, well, Taylor Swift, part, she ain't gone on the road yet, but she shut Ticketmaster down. She's not on yeah. the list because she, she didn't do much in 2020. She didn't no. do any this year, yeah. Uh, that motherfucking Bad Bunny, I know his punk ass got to be on there. He is on the list. He, I won't tell no, you where he is on yeah, the list, I know he but he's on, on the list. He on that motherfucking uh, Bad Bunny. What about you, uh, Ramo? Who do you think is on, on this list? The guy's making the most money in 2022. Um, well, since you took my guy... Because I figured he'd be on Puerto Rico. Bad Bunny. Bad Bunny. Bad Bunny. Who plays some Bad Bunny? Oh, my gosh. I mean, uh, let me, I'm trying to think. Who was on tour? I haven't really followed much. But I would imagine that... Uh, And, and these are artists, right? Like, not... Yeah. not it could be bands. Like it could be artists. could be uh, performing artists. Performing artists. Yeah, I mean, pick a band, any band, you know. That's what I'm thinking. I'm trying to think of who's, like, really big right now. Let's move Maybe on to Tomcat yeah, since you. Ramo has nothing. Harry I have Styles. no idea. I don't. Harry Styles. He, he's on the list, yes. I don't know. Oh, not um, one song Yeah, is. Harry Styles, definitely. As it is. As well, it was. Ed Watermelon, Ed Sugar Sheeran. High. Oh, that's him? That's Ed Sheeran. Sheeran. That's Ed a good Sheeran one. is on the list. Okay, oh, I'll did, give you the five. I didn't know Ed Sheeran was on tour this year. Number five. Yeah. Uh, this is, uh, <laughs> I like a couple of their songs, but. I feel like I'd want to beat people up at this concert. The Coldplay concert. Why would you want to beat somebody up at Coldplay, man? I don't I don't know. Know. They Cold just seem like amazing like Birkin, music. Birkenstock but wearing. I get it. It'd be a lot, it would be a lot of like they crying and like feelings and you listen, know, like music soft that's just if you like listen soft to Coldplay. And man, you can find jamming you on, you on the mandolin get, and listen, shit going. If you're a single man, you should go to I a like Coldplay. Coldplay. Because they make really good music, and not only that, man, you find you a couple flowers, or you can lay the Coldplay. I don't know about that. I, I do. don't know if chicks like Coldplay. Coldplay, oh, shit. He thinks no. with the, his the penis chicks that he can hang out with don't like Coldplay. Shit. Maybe they uh, go I know. Rage Against the Machine. I'll buy us Coldplay tickets. How about that, Jago? Coldplay, two hundred and eight million dollars uh, gross uh, last year or this year, I should say, twenty twenty two. Next is uh, Harry Styles, two hundred and fourteen million. He's number four on the list. Stylus. And he... Uh, That's what his fans are called? He broke a record. Uh, no, I don't know what they're called. In New York City, he sold out 12 straight nights at Madison, Madison Square, Square Garden. Garden there. He broke a record, uh, that band Fish. I don't know if you ever heard I of that. Yeah, I remember Fish. With a P. They, uh, they're crazy, yeah. yeah uh, the, not, uh, their concerts are insane, though. I got, I got a homeboy that follows them. Yeah, they go all yeah. over the place. Them and like, string cheese incident, yeah. I guess they sold out like 10 straight shows at Madison Square Garden. Well, H- Harry broke his record, uh, the, fi- group. the group's record. Uh, now, he used to 12. be in uh, another band. What was it? One Direction. One, One Direction. direction. Mm-hmm. Next on the list is Ed Sheeran. Mm-hmm. Is okay. this, th- th- this is three European artists yeah. in a row. Coldplay is a European band. Thank Harry you. Styles, European dude. Ed Sheeran. They're all from London. Now, let me tell you something. Right? No, They're all British. Know, one thing I know about our They're music British. industry is oh, what is they've he? done yeah. is, especially with boy bands, is they break them in Europe, and then they blow it up in Europe, and then they move it to the U.S. Yep. Maybe that's, that's what's happening. Just what's and, uh, so that's why music sucks so much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, and they're all, and here's nothing. All three, they're all British artists, too. Number two is a British artist as well. Uh, another one? Yeah. Who's it, Adele? Nope. Think old school, but still somehow, some way killing it. Really? Uh, Spice Girls? Oh, Elton John. Elton John. Oh, that's right. He's that's right, remixes. man. I want to go see yeah. that motherfucker. Yeah, he, Britney Spears. he just did his last Tell American show, he said, at the Dodger Stadium. You can actually watch it on HBO Max. It's his uh, final show. Fuck. From, uh, from I, is he Dodger still going to be on tour? Hey, hey. I go see his ass I think he's done. Little known he's fact. not touring anymore? Hey, One no. more show in the UK at Glassbury, uh, I think, and that's going to be it for Elton John. Look, that's God what he said. Little known fact. What? Most you, bad keys on the top five ever. Yeah. British, like, yeah. Like Europeans. Yeah, they grills are <laughs> and, pretty. And then number one up. on the list uh, is uh, Bad Bunny. No. Bad Bunny. So there's Bad there's Bunny. no Americans uh, leading the way. Hey, bullshit. What are you talking about? Bad Bunny is a Puerto Rican. He, we are Americans, you fuck. By territory. That's not very nice, Gentry. I'm yeah, sorry. Did I didn't mean did? to be racist there. I apologize. <laughs> yeah. Hey, okay. Bad tell Bunny. us you're entitled without telling us you're entitled. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, I, I, know I, I find that just it's, uh, it's a Coldplay, Harry Styles, sure. Ed Sheeran, Elton John, I feel Bad you. Bunny. And I'm in his defense, in his I feel, I feel defense Puerto Rico is a new pro, uh, state. It's not a state. They're not a state yet. They're still We're territory. No, what is it? We're territory. A territory. Yeah. There you go. Like it's Wong. a new territory. So. And owned. No, we it's have been, been for over 100 years. And yeah. he may not new? have known he was Puerto Rican. Who? 
uh, Bad Bunny. He, might he, not know. he knows he's Puerto Rican. He I'm knows pretty, I'm pretty sure he got the flag in every goddamn picture he takes. Yeah. Bad Bunny. Did dope. you know that was Very his typical nationality, Puerto Rican. Gentry? I did. He what, that he's Puerto Rican? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I had heard that. Oh, then you are a bastard. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> he I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, another artist that's really hot out there <laughs> right now. I'm joking too. Yeah. And he is uh he is American. He's from Tennessee. And Great some state. some some people don't want to see him out on tour making this money, but that is uh Morgan Wallen. If you're into the country music, he seems to be the hottest I like thing going. Music a lot. Oh man, Morgan Freeman, he's not, great. Not Morgan Freeman. <laughs> Morgan and Morgan he is for a the great people. actor though. You yeah, know they yeah. got offices in uh, Nashville now. I liked him in God. Morgan, uh, look at Gentry. <laughs> <laughs> Morgan Wallen. You know the thing I don't like oh. about Morgan Wallen is his last. I have to say his last name. I hate it. Waylon. You, you always say Wylan, Morgan Waylon. Waylon. <laughs> Although that would be yeah, a good I name for a country <laughs> artist. Just Morgan Waylon. Morgan Waylon. Whatever Hold on. it is. No, that's TK. That's your country name now. You're Morgan Waylon. No, 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 that's no, it. No, 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 that's your no, country no. name. That's your country net music name now. No, no, no. Yeah, you got it. Also, ego. I really like the dude's songs. He's a bad. If he writes those songs, they're bad. He does. He writes they're all great. his songs, and he does have some catchy they're tunes, great. and some have crossed over. But we did have a, a little bit of an exchange, open dialogue before the show. I knew you were listening in. And uh, Hell yeah, you know Morgan he is. Wallen at one point was canceled because there was a video. It was a ring camera from his <coughs> neighbor across the street. Was he calling somebody the N word? No. Was, oh. He well, called yes, his friend. He did. Called he his called friend his friend. In the car. Oh. The N word. Uh, was he black or white? Uh, white. Probably white. I think they. I don't know what the color of the people in the car. I were. call white people that all the time. No, I'm kidding. But, uh, <laughs> I'm joking, he, I'm joking. His his neighbors across <laughs> the street, their ring camera caught him using the n word like at two o'clock in the morning. Oh. Not like yelling at the car. Right. He was like, uh, "See you later, in. See yeah, you later. Sure. All right, I'll catch you later, in." But he sure. was saying it. Sure. You and know? so uh, he 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 got banned from uh, radio for a short time. Like they stopped playing his music. Sure. And they also uh, you know, would not let him come to any of the uh, the award shows in country music. They like banned him from that. But now in 2022, he's like made his uh, his comeback. And before the show, uh, I think TK said something like, "Just because you say the N word doesn't make you a racist." Yeah. And uh, Memphis doesn't buy that. Ooh, all I right. missed this conversation. You weren't here. You were, you were yeah, here. You, had to, you had to dip oh, out for a bit. Oh, that's when I went to go. Okay, yeah. you had to dip out for Sweet, sweet. So I felt like people could say, if people could have said that word in like the way that he said it and not be, have racism in their heart, not be, not have hate and racism in their heart. That's all right. That's kind of just what I was saying. And do you think, Memphis, if somebody uses the uh, N word and they're they're not black, does that automatically make them racist, or they're they're obviously doing an act that is racist? Prejudice of of sorts. I, I I feel it's racist because you should know better. You should know. You you should know there are certain words that no matter where you're from, you don't say. You don't say the n word to black people. You don't say what a derogatory word to Hispanics. You don't say the derogatory word towards Jews. You there there or, or Muslims. Like there are certain words you don't. Cross the regardless of how you say it, you don't say it because there is a consequence that comes behind it because you should know better. And if you know better, you do better. And if you say it and you get caught, hey, too bad for you. Hey, you gonna have to sit down for a bit. That you is, see the, what I'm that saying? is the culture and, that we're living in but, right now. But but it, it ain't about the culture we're living in right now. It's just the fact like I don't want nobody, I don't like nobody standing around me, period. Even though I can say it, I don't, I don't like, like nobody. I don't, I don't like nobody like saying that. around me. But period. Because I mean, I don't especially like really if you're not black, because hair. it's 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 because that word was it was created for us, and it's a negative word. And I don't care what somebody said in the song. I guess that, it, it, that's because why I figured that's, that's that people could that's get kind of confused. Because no, it's, it's not a it's not a way to get confused. Because. Just because somebody said it in a song, <laughs> that don't mean you repeat it out loud, no, openly. No, and, and no, no I understand. I you think see, you're right. And, and then, no, and, I and, think and you're on correct. Top of, and on top I of think that, you're correct. The word is a very hurtful word. I think you're absolutely correct. So, yeah. so yeah, if we say, hey, hold up, don't say that word around me, or don't say it at all, you can't feel some kind of way. And if you do, there's a consequence that comes along with it. Yeah, I you see what I'm saying? Get, you may get canceled. That, that's true. You may get beat down. You may get killed. People kill you behind that. Depending on you cross the wrong person. But I, but when when you get to a point where 
you would kill somebody for something they say. It's are the word, you man. In, are you on the right side of things? I don't think nobody should get killed for saying no shit like that. I, let me be clear. I, that's once fucked, you tra- that's fucked once you up. go across attacking someone for just so- something they've said. Are you right? You know what I mean. Is You're not right correct? if you attack somebody. No. Now, I mean, not if if, if, you said, if you said if you said if you said in my presence, I'm gonna tell you, hey, but but, but cut that's that out. different you see than should you you know lose sponsorship, lose the backing of some people who have the right to choose whether they back you or not. If you no, do that. because and that, that is be, something because that we that's are been, no in a, because in an era of, no because it's happening. If, if you in, say in a lot it, of ways, I think that's a good thing because people need to be. Held to task for what they are or what well, they, you know here's what I'm a, here's saying? Accountable here's for what they do. Sure. Right, yeah, and, but I, here's the thing, I, right? I don't Everybody agree knows with like, that. Like last week, I don't always agree about looking at things through the lens of the past that way because things were different in the past. Although, if you were a racist back then, you would most likely still be pretty racist now. Well, you have tendencies. And, you know, I mean, not saying you can't blame people because you're supposed to learn, but they were indoctrinated, indoctrinated, excuse me, just like... You know, we said about, you know, or I was saying earlier about the saying he and she when you're speaking in terms of a woman or, you know, a man, just by nature, you do it. And I think back then it was just <clears throat> outside of obviously people who were being called that, and that's that I- it was just such a prevalent thing that little kids growing up didn't see it for as horrible as it was because people used it as loosely as it was and that's what i like think about is good about the you know, being called but they task understood now that it was is bad that people are called to task for it now i sure. think that's good yeah sure of course 100 for sure yeah yeah i mean because if you say it you know and, and somebody find out about it you know what's gonna happen because you know, you should know better. I don't. Well, I you don't think that, that goes with anything. You should, you should know better. In, yeah, in, because in, it's in like if you way, say, if you say something out the way I, to I, the uh, I, again, don't think that people should say that word. But I don't think anyone should say it. But I the think the, where I say that I think there's confusion between some people is that some people are allowed to say it and some people say it in songs. And yes, I get only it. Only people that say allowed to say it is black people. Right, but uh, but if you are another person and you hear this word. Some people, there are, are some people are going to say it. There are you know, so like, many other. Shouldn't. There are so many words in the English language that a person can say, and and and, and this back to the point. Everybody knows that there are words that you don't say, regardless. Sure. You because you you are you. Would you say uh, uh, um, in the LGBTQ plus community? I know I left a few, few letters out, but. There are words that you don't say about them, and if you do, you know what's going to happen. It's no different. But again, it's no so, different. But again, so now we're in this place where it's like if you say these words, of which there are many, and they're growing, you get what beaten or killed. I mean, is that where we are? Well, I, I, well I, 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 were, only white people can't say these words. Well, white people were doing that to people back then. I mean, does not, that uh, does not make it right now? Yeah. I'm not saying transgressions is not, I'm not future saying, transgressions. Well, well the, 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 the sons of the father also the, the sins of the son, too. But I don't think anybody should be getting hurt behind it. But people also should know better to don't say it in the first place. And you I, don't, again, I don't, don't think put people yourself should be saying a, it. Don't play yourself. Don't play but yourself. Because if you play yourself, congratulations. You know, it's your sir, fault. You should know. Don't do it. I do. Mm, One I, of you is going to lose. Sure. I do think yourself. some people get like you play so. I do think get some people get like overly butt hurt about something like that and act like it means more to them than I think it really does. Oh yeah, you got folks. Oh man, there there are quite a few I heard that'll go out there and be like, oh yeah yeah, like sit your punk ass down. You know what yeah. uh, caught me off guard was I was watching Pulp Fiction recently, mm-hmm. and uh, I had forgotten that you have a couple of white people that drop in bombs in that movie. Now, that's this is that's a movie. Quentin Tarantino film. Yeah, Quentin Tarantino is one of them. I mean, he says the N-word and, and finishes it with the R and says it a few times in the movie, and I feel like John Travolta says it as well. And they use it in the movie, and it's just well, shocking Leonardo when you, DiCaprio, when you watch have you have you seen Django? Well, and I think I think you got to understand it. Meant to be them, them words are probably said in context of the, of the story, film, the obviously, time. in the film and the actors like... You know, perhaps, but they get a pass. That, well, the you, buzz, you're saying they, because no, no, well, no, 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 they don't get a pass. They, they the, catch it too. Don't they, get well, it confused. And I, they but catch I also it. think that the character, if the character is portrayed to be 
a racist in some form or another, then it would be impossible to uh, accurately, a, a, in, it, yeah, yeah, right. portray that person without performing some of those acts in anger. Yeah, because people know that. People yeah. know that. You see what I'm saying? Like that's I, I wouldn't use that as an example. I just sure. think that by you performing know? those acts, even for a movie, is just causing more. I mean, don't get me wrong, Quentin Tarantino. He catches it. He he catch it. You sure. know what I mean? He catch it. But his his intentions are not wrong. He like you said, it's, it's a film, and it's, it's a not like it's not like uh, he's making a film about like this dissing black people or anybody for that matter. He's just making a film of a, a time period or whatever it is, and, it's, he, and it's he's cap, he's capturing it's real a moment, and and that's what it was. You know, now these people ain't out here like now. I can see if like was fucking uh, like Leonardo DiCaprio was going around calling motherfuckers niggas in his regular life. Oh, he be getting his ass beat. He be getting his ass stomped out. But he's not doing it. He's just doing it as a as in a film, and everybody know that. But he still catch heat for that too, because there are a lot of people that are like I don't care, you, you don't do it at all. So they catch it. Don't think they don't. They do. All right. Well, we are just about out of time. So you know what that means. It is time for our newsman. He's <laughs> he's not Tom Brokaw. <laughs> he sure isn't. He, he got the best eyebrows <laughs> in the news <laughs> game. He's a little closer to a Matt Lauer type. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, Matt you know Lauer Matt can Lauer. suck it. <laughs> you know Matt Lauer did a lot of freaky shit. So yeah. So he he can deliver. All that's right. for sure. And he delivers <laughs> us the not so good news. Tomcat, take it away. Tom. Right. This is the news right here for December 7th, 2022. Uh, Gentry stole my thunder about it being the uh, anniversary of Pearl Harbor, which is not a good anniversary. Uh, that was mm-hmm. December 7th, 1941. No, I mean, it was a horrible act, but yeah, I think it was, it was a time in our country's period where we really showed that. Our country had if, a period? If, if we put. It was a bloody <laughs> mess, that's for if, sure. If we put the oh, bullshit God, aside, we can come together and conquer anything. That's true. And we're going to learn that eventually. Famous birthdays today. Uh, MLB Hall of Famer Johnny Bench. He's 75. I don't even know Have the you ever fuck seen the is. size he of Johnny Bench's Cincinnati. hands? I right. do no. not know. He has a hand that's as big as a catcher's mitt. I once played in a golf tournament with him. Biggest hand you'll ever see. That's, I think that's what made him a great catcher. Yeah. He had a hand that He's was like a catcher's one mitt. Of the, one of the best ever. Yeah. He played for Cincinnati, right? shit, it was yep. probably that size from getting hit from the fucking ball so I know. Fast hand kept swelling up and shit. Won a World Series with the big red machine, the Cincinnati Reds. The Reds. And also NBA legend Larry Bird. 66 years old. Oh, Larry Bench, oh, Larry Indiana. Lay yeah. up, Larry. I bet he ate some of that good ass government cheese. Yeah, I'm sure he did. French that Lick. didn't like melt. All right, this first story is a callback to the one I talked about last week about the killer robots from San Francisco. Yeah, oh, yeah the cops. Yeah, they went back on their plan. Now, unfortunately, they pulled it. The uh, proposal, which was passed last week by the city's legislatures, the Board of Supervisors would have allowed police to access robots that can kill. Uh, it faced fierce criticism from Cyber Liberties groups, and it's been pulled. Hell yeah, we want a bunch of RoboCops out here, some freaking iRobots and shit. <laughs> Next up, we got a Florida man busted for public sex with a dog and wrecking a church Florida nativity man. scene. I seen that. This guy. Way from he Duval? went on a deranged rampage and went to sex anyone? with a dog in front of horrified families. Uh, what county? What, what county you think he was from? It's somewhere Dade, uh, maybe a little bit north of that. I'm gonna go like uh, Newport Richie area. Oh yeah, Pasco man. I bet uh, it's Pasco County. Uh, says he uh, <laughs> he destroyed a church nativity scene while trying to escape from the angry onlookers. <laughs> oh my! Chad God. Mason, 36, allegedly began his sick crime spree while walking a friend's Labrador Friday in a quiet neighborhood. Of, and Clearwater, that's where it was. Yeah, Clearwater. Cool. So that's right. right. So that's At one Hillsborough. point, he began right fornicating with the animal in yeah, full view of spectators. That is hilarious, Weirdos. dude. Then it's an adult confronted him during the way. act, and he ran towards a nearby North Presbyterian church where he toppled a church nativity scene and smashed several potted plants that had been put out for the it's display. It's like dirty Florida. I get it's His penis it's, was still hanging it's out. It's a cool part of uh, <laughs> Florida, but that's... <laughs> it's kind of dirty and weird, man. You, got any, go Florida. you got any good news, Tom? Yeah. Good news. Yeah. <laughs> Tom Cat, the, the, fun, the funny part was that as he was running, the dog was still stuck to his penis. That's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> right. They needed to pour hot this water This is good news on. right here. Man is stunk to oh, death gosh. while taking, talking to a swarm of bees he believed to be were the reincarnation of his ancestors. No, no way. He stung to death. He didn't watch a man candy man. stung to death ever trying to talk to a swarm God, of bees he believed to be his ancestors. Where are they I'm getting I can't pronounce at. his name. 58 died shit, in Zalaraha. 
home outside of Kwansang on November 3rd after speaking to the bees during a traditional ceremony. Wow. One bee's got his ass. Apparently they got some <laughs> pineapple upside down cake from Truly. Shit, man. That's crazy, yo. Yo, he behave. Was, people are nuts. Don't be crazy. Be good to each other. Nope. Talk about it. Screw that. That's the news. That's the news. Hey. That's some of it. Anyway. He got stung. Talking, oh, he 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 talking to the ancestors now. You sure the hell is? That's he with him now. Up. Maybe that's talking how he to wanted to like. Shit. That's how he wanted to <laughs> hallucinate. The he was bees just like, get oh, you, you you talk, you want to talk to your ancestors? Hold on, we've been sing you to him right now. He's stuck like there Chuck. There he is. He on his way. That's fucked. That's 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 hilarious, dog. That's oh. hilarious. I thought maybe you were gonna have the story from the Art Basel. Have you heard of the Art Basel that goes what on? Yeah, in Miami. What happened? Yeah, this goes on in Miami. I guess people go. Yeah, it was this past weekend. They they show off their art. It's like a music walk. Yeah, but Does, it's now, art do they walk. eat a lot of basil there? Well, I guess no. they drink a lot of breast milk. I don't that's know if you heard that story. Gross. Nasty. Nope. There were some. If I'm getting it straight from a nice titty. So there, there were some artists. I guess this is art now. Well, these two women were at Art Basel in Miami, and uh, one pulls out her boob, and the other one starts sucking on it, and uh, like breastfeeding off of a, a grown woman. <laughs> was and, it nice? Ew. And, was it and nice then they like. <laughs> you got pictures? Ew. There's video Bro. online. Oh. There's video you guys, on. You guys in the vi- are watching no, no. the video All right, now let's on go YouTube. to tape. Go to tape. Roll no, it. All right, we'll can show we the video. Up, can we get Zoom that in on that titty. Can, can we get that up there? <laughs> all right. Can I finish weird. the story? Yeah, go ahead. It, gets, no. it gets weirder. Oh, oh right. no. So this art, as they call it at Art Basil, the one woman is sucking on the other woman's boob and taking breast milk, and then I guess she puts it in her mouth and then spits it in a cup. <laughs> And uh, can we get some very white music going? <laughs> and, and then she, uh, she's, they sell it. You want to know how much that this no this cup of art? Way how much? They sell that shit. Because that's what Art Basil is about. You go there to buy so art. art. Yeah. And I guess this uh, breast milk I'm go was art. To, uh, uh, how much? Hundred thousand dollars. More than a hundred thousand. No dollars. way. Get the fuck out of here. Two hundred fifty. Two hundred. Thousand dollars, some wh- breast milk went How much you think it, I get That's if I went and jacked crazy. off in the car? What's it, Cambodian breast Yo, milk? How many bitches are heading there with their breast milk right now? Hell yeah! So Where I mean, is this art basil? <laughs> oh my god! Thanks a lot. Now, oh, now we're gonna have a bunch of weird bitches with titties out milking shit. Hey, if anybody oh, that art sucker, let me know. That's, I'll volunteer. That's porn, dog. Well, Whenever you guys volunteer. see a woman breastfeeding in public, uh, what is your first instinct? Bella dude getting a lot of food right I'm now. I'm thirsty. Take it outside, lady. No, I'm just kidding. Don't bother me, no. I'm going to be heading out to Art Basil like this. Like, <laughs> who wants a fucking no, cup of hey, semen? Let me who in. wants no. a cup let of me. semen? <laughs> exactly. I, I'm standing out front like this. I got DNA for sale. Which one of you fucking crazy fucks <laughs> wants this cup? <laughs> this is fresh. We used, we used to have a neighbor that constantly was walking around wow. the neighborhood breastfeeding her baby. I am so high right all now. All the time. Oh, my God. And, uh... At one point, uh, you know, she, uh, her That's kid got terrible. older and older and older to the point she was like still breastfeeding her kid and he was like putting together sentences. Dude, what? I told you yeah. not Put to tell us about this. Down, young man. <laughs> so, hey, Put I married her. Right? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been another award winning Outcast podcast. Like we and subscribe. Appreciate YouTube. you guys listening. Good. Thumbs up. We'll, we'll be back. We'll be back next week, God's willing. We're high.